Buenos dias. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. Hoy es miércoles. Can you say that? Hoy es miércoles. Remember yesterday we started learning some Spanish words because that's one of the languages that a lot of people speak in South America. Let's do the days of the week. We'll do English and then Spanish. Listening for Wednesday and miércoles. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Domingo, Lunes, Martes, Miércoles, Jueves, Viernes, Sabado. And today is April 29th, and so tomorrow will be the 30th, and it's the last day of April, and then it will be May. So let's do the days or the months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Now, we have been talking about South America and visiting some of the different biomes, and today we are going to take a visit to the rainforest. Are we really going to go? So we're going to pretend. So let's find the rainforest on our biome map for South America. So right here we see this whole big area is the rainforest. And this is the biggest rainforest in the whole world. And you can see the Amazon River comes the whole way through. It is an enormous river. Now, let's think about the word rainforest. It's a compound word. Can we break it apart? Rain, forest, rainforest. What is that? What do you think we can learn about a rainforest from those two words? It's a forest with a lot of rain. That's right, it rains almost every day in the rainforest. And a lot of rain means a lot of plants. So the rainforest is full of huge trees that soak up a lot of that rain and they can grow really big. Now a lot of the rain that falls down, the precipitation in the rainforest, what happens? So some of it gets soaked up by the trees and some of it evaporates right back up into the sky and then it condenses into the clouds and then it comes right back down as rain on the rainforest. So there's lots and lots of rain going through the water cycle in the rainforest. Now, I'm standing here beside this big cottonwood tree. And in the summertime, its leaves are gonna be even bigger and it's gonna make more shade. So right now I'm standing in a little bit of shade, but imagine if this whole area were lots and lots of big trees, it would be a lot of shade, wouldn't it? So on the ground in the rainforest, because there's so many big trees that make like an umbrella, they call it the canopy. Canopy is kind of like an umbrella. On the ground, there's hardly any sunlight. It's shady almost all, all the time on the ground. And some animals live only on the ground in the rainforest. And some animals live only in the canopy. They spend their whole life up in the trees. Would you like to see some animals that live in the rainforest? Now, I can't show you real rainforest animals because they don't live here, right? This isn't their habitat. But I have some pictures I can show you. And later I'll send you a video to watch. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, so these are going to be all animals that live in the tropical rainforests of South America. So here we have golden lion marmoset. We might call it golden lion tamarind. A little monkey that lives up in the tree in the canopy. Does it look? It's, it has that gold fur that looks kind of like a lion. I think that's why they named it that. All right, here's another mammal. See what that is? It's a dolphin. It's an Amazon dolphin that lives in the river. Some dolphins live in the ocean, but this is a river dolphin. Here's another mammal that lives in the river. It is a giant otter. I love otters. They're very playful and good swimmers. Pretty fierce too. 
Next we have another mammal, but this one lives up in the treetops. This is a sloth and they move very slowly and they only come down out of the tree like once a week and I think it's just when they have to use the bathroom once a week. Alright, here we have a harpy eagle. It catches animals with its sharp claws to eat. And this is a really colorful bird called a paradise tanager. And here we have a toucan. Look at that beautiful bill it has. It's beak. So colorful. I think it likes to eat fruit. Now we're going to go and see a reptile. That is an iguana. And I just learned that they're good swimmers. I hadn't known that. And then we have another reptile. What's that? Snake. That snake is a boa. Okay, now let's see our amphibians. Here is a poison dart frog. Their skin makes a poison on it, so you wouldn't want to touch those. Now this frog is amazing. I want you to take a close look. It's called a marsupial tree frog because it has a little pouch on its back where it holds the eggs and then they hatch out in the tadpoles and its babies live in that pocket right on its back until they're big enough to be little frogs that crawl out. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? All right, now we have some fish. Here's a little fish that's very bright called the neon tetra. And here is a fish called a piranha and it has very sharp teeth. And they work as a, in their schools and their teams and they can eat a lot very fast. Now we have our invertebrates. Here is a bird eating tarantula. It's really big. I think I'm glad we don't have those in our biome. And here is uh, a grease butterfly. All right. Now that's just a few of the animals. The rainforest has more kinds of plants and animals than I think anywhere else in the world. So these are just a few of the ones that are really cool. And maybe you'll learn about some others and you can tell me about it. All right, so today what you're going to do, since the rainforest has lots of trees, you're going to see what you can find in your house that comes from a tree. It could be a food that grows on a tree or it could be something made out of wood. So look around, see what you can find. And if you want, you can bring something from a tree when we have our video call a little bit later. Have a great day.